Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Jenny's Lifestyle and Hobbies. I'm back after a very long gap uh, because I've been very busy with some personal work and I just could not give time to both my YouTube channels. Yes, uh, both my channels. I have another channel which is called Cook with Jenny. That channel is all about cooking with simple ingredients available at home. I'm sure you will like that channel. Please go out and check that. And in that channel, I've been receiving a lot of requests about my lifestyle, hobbies. So I didn't really want to mix up that channel with, you know, cooking and my daily vlogging. So I started up this channel. But like I said, due to some personal work, I really had to, you know, give YouTube a break. But now I'm back and I hope with a bang. <laughs> so today's uh, channel is about uh, a dining chair makeover. Like when I say Jenny's lifestyle and hobbies, it's uh, basically things I like doing, which I used to show a little bit in my other channel. But then it started getting too hodgepodge and I said, let that channel be just for cooking. And here I will just share all about my hobbies, my DIYs, lifestyle. And uh, I hope you like this channel. Please show your love and do consider subscribing if you have not yet subscribed to my channel. Well, let's talk about today's video. The starting is a little lengthy, I know <laughs> that, uh, you know, like uh, people don't generally like to hear a lot of blah, blah, blah before the starting of the video. But I'm doing this for this particular episode uh, as uh, I have not yet uploaded an introduction video. But yes, I'll give a little more detailed introduction video in the upcoming videos. About today's video, I'm very interested in home decors and uh, DIYs. So today I'm going to focus on dining table decor. Before that, I want to show you how I transform my dining chair. It's a very old dining table that I have here. We wanted to actually change the table. But uh, again, I thought let's give it some more time and uh, maybe we'll have some good news coming up soon and that is the time we will maybe change the dining table for now we can just give it a good look and yeah let me do this diy and transform my dining table and give it a total new look in a very very low budget so without any further delay let's check out the dining table makeover so as you can see this is the dining chair and here we have scraped out all the dirt using the sandpaper this is how we are doing it at home we are doing a very very low budget makeover you can see the dirt that has accumulated over the years so i'm using a zero number sandpaper here and this is the wood keeper it's a varnish uh, i bought it and Using this brush, I'll apply it over the chair as shown. And uh, it's quite easy to use this brush because I can reach all corners. But to give it a smoother look, you can even try using a cloth. I'll show you later how I do that. As you can see, using this brush, I can reach all the corners. And I'll be giving this two coats. Here I'm using a cloth. Just dab it with the varnish and apply it over the chair and rub it in evenly. After applying the first coat, I dried it for about 12 hours. And again applied a second coating. After that, again I left it to dry for about uh, another 12 hours. So all the chairs have been varnished and left to dry. So I have left the chairs out in the sun to dry. In the meantime, let me change this cushion cover. You can see it's already worn out and looks so dirty. I bought this Rexine material. And it's very nice and soft and you can see it's golden color I've taken this time. And it has that slight glitter finish. 
it looks really nice okay let's first remove this cloth from the seat here okay successfully removed <laughs> i'm doing this for the first time and hope it comes out well so this is the size we need to cut out i'll use this for the measurement okay let's just check out the measurement and i'll just cut it out to the same size Okay, so we've got this cut piece ready and let's try to fix this I'll nail it up like this I bought some nails I'm not sure of the sizes let's just check which will work out the best no this will be a little too long this looks okay not too long and it has a big head so that will hold the material properly and let's check this out as well this is also a little too long so i'll keep this aside and i'll go with this i'll be using some fevicol to stick it up also i'll show you how i do it later first comes first again just nail them up and make sure you pull the cloth evenly and I've secured it with the nail from one side and here what I'm doing is I have to make sure it's nice and tight you just can't have a loose covering so pull it properly and then nail it if you have the cloth too loose over it it'll give a bad look so ensure that you pull it properly and you nail it okay now i have secured it with nails from three sides the last part is a little tricky you have to ensure that it's really smooth and tight from the top so here i am going to use all my strength and you know make it pull it tight and just uh, nail them up again so as you can see i've nailed it up all from all sides and uh, it's not necessary to put fevicol there but i thought it'll give it a neater look so just applying fevicol and sticking it all up the nails are good enough you may skip this if you wish to just securing it with the hammer and clean it up so yes this is done and let me show you there you are nice and properly secured this is before and after how does it look please do let me know in the comment section below okay so let's try fixing this to the chair now okay the varnish has also dried up properly and let's just fix this wow i just love the outcome what do you think friends please let me know in the comment section below and that's the before and after look <laughs> okay so this is the normal decor i have at the moment let me show another diy for you this is a normal wooden tree you can see it's all stained up so to this i'm going to varnish it i'll be applying the same varnish that i use for the chair i clean this up with sandpaper and let's start applying the varnish here you can use a cloth or a brush like i told you earlier let me show how i'm doing it just take some varnish to this cloth and apply over the surface of the tray i'll just use the brush so that i can reach all corners properly 
apply generous amount of the varnish and leave it to dry for about 12 hours. Okay, this is done. So let me leave it out in the sun to dry. Like I said, it'll take about 12 hours. Before that, I'm just giving it a smooth touch up with the cloth. And there you are. Let's dry this now. Day two of the makeover. So this is a dining table. Like I said, it's just a normal wooden top dining table. I'll spread this cloth over it. Here I'm using a maroon tablecloth with a golden border to go with the rest of my decor. This is the chair and the tablecloth. And I've spread the tablecloth here. You can use any color of your choice. Again, to go with the border of the tablecloth, I'm using this cream color table runner. And here you can see the tray has also dried up nice and proper. The stain could not be removed, but that's not a problem. You can just use this tray like this, but I'm going to give it a twist. I purchased this mirror from the local market. I asked them to cut it in the size of the tray. And we're going to place this inside. And it's going to give a totally different look. How did you like it? I just love the outcome. Okay, let's start setting this place up. Candle stands. I have some artificial candles in here. Salt and pepper shaker. Let's give it some life by adding an artificial succulent. Some tissues. That's just about it. I've kept it very simple and light for your summer look. We have the candles there. And that was decor number one. Let's go for the second look. A few artificial flowers in a small fish bowl. Again, tissue paper holder. This is something we always need on the table. Salt and pepper shaker gifted to me by my sister. I really find them very, very cute. Some candles to light up our lives. <laughs> and it's all about what you like doing. And a coaster, a set of coaster. And that's my second look. I hope you like this. I don't like to overdo the dining table decor. So I just generally keep it simple. I avoid keeping cutleries on the table. And also avoid keeping your pickles, etc. So let's go in for the third look. Placing a lantern. I purchased this from a local shop. A Buddha head planter. I've got some money plants in there. Some mouth freshener. And uh, tissue paper again. I like using everything in light color because it's a summer decor. I added the salt and pepper shaker. And nice and simple. Every home has a story and so does mine. I love keeping things nice and simple. I hope you like my idea. Okay, so just placing some table mats to give it a finished look. And this is the overall setting I generally keep for my dining table decor. I really hope you all enjoy the video as much as I enjoyed making this video for you friends. Please do leave your valuable comments in the comment section below. And if you liked my video, please hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye and I'll see you with another interesting video that's coming up soon. Bye.